Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are learning about the new concept that is nothing but networking. So before we dive into the networking concept, so we'll try to learn lot of things in the networking thing. So in our previous series, we have completed the streams concept. We have learned about the readable streams, writable streams, transform streams, and also the duplex streams. We have seen it. So this is very much important. The streams concept is the streams concept is very much important as long as every backend language or the web programming language they have a support. But according to me, Node.js is a efficient support for these streams. So if you go for Java, everything you go Python, .NET, everything. So they have a support, but Node.js, as far as I know, the it has a wonderful, uh, efficient way of handling the streams concept. So fine. So we have completed the streams concept. Let's dive into the next concept that is nothing but the networking. So why? Because we need to develop. Finally, we need to develop the network apps. That is nothing but the HTTP and all those things. So before uh, learning about this HTTP and all those things, we need to understand about the transport layer. So transport layer means I want to say is network layer. Okay. So the total network layer we need to understand it. So be, without understanding this network layer and all those things, we cannot develop a network applications. So before we dive into the Node.js code and all those things, so we need to learn about the network apps. In this series, what we'll try to learn is we'll we'll be learning as far as as a low level low level where we can handle the networking using the Node.js. Okay, the low level we'll try to do. It. Apart from this low level, we cannot handle that that layer using the Node.js. Up the low level from low level onwards up to the HTTP and all those things. So as far as I know, the HTTP. Or the SSH, FTP, even the email protocols. So whatever the protocols we are having, the protocols and everything, so uh, will be operated on the top of this layer only, which we are trying to learn this layer. What is nothing but the TCP layer, which I would be trying to do UDP layer or TCP layer. We will try to learn about these all the things. Okay, so we will build. We will start building our cool networking apps also. So let's take a few minutes to understand some core concepts. About the computer science and also the network concepts. Why? Because if you have a clear understanding about this one, then only you can able to understand about the networking applications. So how the computers and the internet IP address, what is an IPv4 address, IPv6 address, what is a MAC address. So these all the things. If you have a clear understanding only, then only we can able to understand the network. We can able to develop the networking applications. So trust me, I will make you things way easier down the line. So just we'll try to understand the network first. So if you are already aware of this IP address, router, switches, and all those things, so you can uh, uh, comfortably skip this uh, uh, video. So just we'll try to learn about this understanding the network. Let's travel back 20 years back. Okay. So how the computers are, or the how the software will be. So 20 years back, if you travel back 20 or maybe 30 years ago, something like that. Imagine you have a computer. Okay. You have a computer. And your computer and your coworker is some something around John or Liam or anyone. So okay, let's say that here you are having a coworker. Okay, so this is one system. Let's say that this is one system, and this is another system. That is nothing but your system. Okay, let's say you. So this is the this is the two systems. Now what you will want to do? So let's say that you want to share a file to this system. Okay. So you want to share a file to the system. So how you will share a file? Remember, you are trying to do it in a 20 to 30 years ago. So what we'll try to do in 20 to 30 years ago? So these two are disconnected computers. Okay, these are not connected. Okay, so these two are disconnected. So these these two are not connected anymore. So what will happen is at that time 20 or 30 years ago. So maybe the people who are learning right now, maybe they were aware of or not. I don't know. So we used to have a floppy disk. Okay. So we used to have a floppy disk like this. So it will have around 1.44 MB. Maybe, uh, maybe I may be wrong or something like that. That the storage capacity of this floppy disk is around 1.44 MB or something like that. Uh, at the time when I was studying, so I rarely saw this floppy disk, which is, which is having 1.44 MB. We used to carry C programming languages in this floppy disk. So fine. So these two disconnect. What we'll try to do? User will insert a floppy disk drive here. He will copy the file everything and he will take that copy floppy disk drive to way to this computer and he will insert the same floppy disk drive and he will copy inserting it one another so here back then you couldn't just click send there are no cables no networking cards nothing the only way is physically 
that is nothing but floppy disk or somewhere now you people will be aware of cd drives or usb drives so like this we used to have like this okay <clears throat> imagine this com this system is somewhere it is in europe okay so this is in somewhere it is in europe and this is in somewhere it is in us let's say assume okay now i want to share a file from this system or from this computer to this computer remember 20 to 30 years ago both are disconnected computers so what we need to do same process we need to copy the same thing the floppy drive in this system and we need to go by flight or any transport we need to do so we need to go to the europe and we need to insert the floppy disk here or some way we need to make the floppy disk to travel to the europe okay to the transport or anything and we need to do it okay so if so probably we need a plane ticket <laughs> that's it we don't have anything or otherwise you need to keep it in a cargo so that is the way which we will be doing it in 20 to 30 years ago so you imagine that if you want to share a file between two computers means so we need to have a physical that's it so now let's come to now in this case thankfully that there is that is there is no case anymore right now so now we have a networking hardware ethernet cable switches routers and more so these are all the things we are having right now so ethernet cable switches routers and more we are having right but what are those all things how do these work okay let's try to see this one so for example let's say that let's say that you are working uh, so now let's go to the uh, back to the original one so i removed everything so let's say that you are working in a same company okay so here i am having a system and your friend is having a another system okay and four members are there sitting here okay let's say that we are having a four members four member systems are there now what we what we would be having it is now i want to share so a b c and d okay so these are the four systems which you will be having now i want to share the uh, data from this file to something b system so i want to share the file means what we need to do so normally we used to carry a floppy disk or cd or usb drive or anything but that is not the case so right now what we will be trying to do it is we will be having a switch so you will be able to see the switch also so if you try to understand about the switch concept i will try to explain you so how the switch will look like is in the images if you try to see in the switch networking so it will look like a cisco switch something like box here it will be okay so here this this switch will look like something like uh, two to three inches or something like that so this is the switch which you will be having and here you'll be able to see we are having some sockets so this is nothing but an rj45 cable it will uh, fix it so this is called as an ethernet cable so now now what we'll try to do it is let's go to our paint okay now here we are having a switch switch will have a boxes uh, that sockets like this now we will connect this switch to this one and this socket to here and this socket to here and like this we will be connecting to this one okay so this system we will be connecting all the four computers to this switch now this switch will act as a bridge between these four things and here for connecting this one we need to have a ethernet cable so you people already aware of this ethernet cable so the present day people and these all the ethernet cable one uh, it will connect to each system it will go to the central device called a switch okay so here you will be having now here what i want to tell you is a switch is like a traffic controller it takes the data you send figures out where it needs to go and sends it to there so here whatever the data you want to send it from a so you need, will be sending it to the switch and it will figure out how you need to send the data and it will send it to the particular device so how you will be how this computer will be able to connect this one so you need to understand here you you are having this type of socket right the same type of socket also you will be having here in this computer also so where you will be having this one so for this computer so we will be having a separate hardware called as a network card okay so if you are able to understand this one so it is a separate hardware hardware so this is a network card so this will be fixed to the motherboard of your thing so previously in our olden days we don't have this network card so that means it is a disconnected computer now the network card will be there that is nothing but called call as a network interface card or nic we will say it as an nic 
and this NIC network card will be attached to each of the computer. So the hardware will be there. Previously, we are, now the now, nowadays the laptops you are having it right. It will come with a default network card. Previously, when we used to assemble the desktop PCs or something like this, we need to purchase manually the network interface card and we need to attach to that one to the hardware. So now, whenever you purchase a network interface card, so each network interface card will be having a unique ID. Okay, it will be having a unique ID. So that means every system has a network card and this network card and this system will have a unique ID. Okay, unique ID. So no two, com no two computers in the world will have the same ID. So it will have a unique ID. So it will have a different, different unique ID. So that unique ID is called as a MAC address. Okay, so now you need to understand about this MAC address. So the MAC address doesn't belong to the system. It belongs to the network interface card. So e, the network interface card will have a unique ID that is called as a MAC address. Each computer displays a different MAC address. Think of a MAC address is like a digital fingerprint. No two are the same and it helps the switch to know which computer is which. So here the switch will able to understand which computer is which. So that is the thing. So each computer will have a unique ID that is called as a MAC address. So that is one thing. So let's say that you want to send a file from A to the B or on the same network. Now the computer. So here you want to send a file from A to the C. Let's assume. Now what you will try to do? You need to send a data. So here you will send a packet. Okay. You need to understand here also. So we will try, try to discuss about this packet. So this one you will send it as a packet. Now packet will contain something like source. Okay. It will contain a source. It will contain a destination and it will contain a data. Okay. The source will contain the MAC address and the destination will contain the MAC address and the data will contain 0, 1 source of binary data it will contain. So the MAC address will be a hexadecimal digit something like a 12 digit number you will be having. I didn't remember exactly. It's an hexadecimal. In return hexadecimal means nothing but then it's a binary data only. It's a representation of zeros and ones. So that is one thing. Now your computer sends that packet to the switch. So this packet is nothing but a combination of key value pair. It will be having a source, destination and a data. So the computer sends that packet to the switch. The switch checks the destination MAC address. So he, to which destination I want to send it. It will check the destination MAC address. Figures out which computer it belongs to and forwards that packet to there. Switch reading the MAC, finding the correct port and sending the packet. So that is the main thing it will have. And just like the computer C, the C computer gets the data, fast, efficient, no floppy disk, no walking, something like that. Okay. So this here, this setup computer cables, a switch and a MAC address is the basic build of the basic building block of the, uh, what I want to say is modern networks. So all you need to is here to communicate with the NIC network interface card plus cable plus switch plus MAC address. That's it. So now here and once you understand this one. Things like TCP, IP address, routers and the internet as a whole will start making a lot more sense to you. So here this is what the communication will be having within the same uh, network, within the same network if you are having or in the same building if you are there, if you are connected to the switch means then you will be able to do with the MAC address. In the next video what we will try to do is we will take this foundational knowledge and use it to build a real network applications using Node.js. So we will try to do it. So hope you understood about this concept. So now here if you are ready hit the like button subscribe and let's keep building the network applications. Thank you.